Hey besties, it's Becca. In today's video, we are doing an Afigy protein treatment. I'm so excited because I do this every single month. And when I do this, it means that there's bleaching coming. <laughs> and it's been like a month in a week. My roots are so long. But this product, I swear by, okay? This is the same thing if you don't wanna buy the big bottle. They have little travel size that comes at Sally's and you can buy them on Afigy website, but this costs like 650. So it's not like breaking the bank or anything. And I do this every single month. Everyone always says to me, Becca, how do you still have hair? And it's because of Afigy why I still have hair. I do it every single month before a bleaching. Sometimes if I forget to do it before a bleaching, I'll do it after a bleaching. And it's just liquid gold, okay? And I just want all my besties to use Afigy because it's amazing. Let's get into the video right now. So, hello, hello, I got my nails done. No, I didn't. They're from Dollarama and they were $1.25. Can you believe that? $1.25? I'm like so in with nails that are press on. I just love them. And like, I have like ADHD brain. And um, I just, you know, get bored of nails so fast. Like, are you guys like me? Probably not. <laughs> when I get like real nails, like gel nails, after a month, I'm like dying. I just bite them off at that. Like after like two weeks, I'm biting them off because I don't know what it is. I just hate looking at the same color all the time. And with gel nails, you can't take the flipping paint off. So these I can just, bite off and they're they're gone new pair so i also seen that sally beauty has like this like the best glue in the world and it comes in like this little tube and i think it's like 20 dollars. but apparently it makes your nails last for like two and a half weeks or something or two weeks which is nice to have that option and i've been using like the kiss glue and it's horrible it like comes off in like a day and when you have kids oh god man when you're putting diaper cream on, oh, it just gets right in there and you're just like. Before anyone says, Becca, we need to know what makeup you're wearing. Lashes are from Dollar Tree. They're by Ioni. And lipstick is by um, LA Color uh, by Dollar Tree. I get all my lipstick and lashes from Dollar Tree. Sorry, I'm looking for it. And this is what it looks like. It's by LA Keller. And the shade is called, the shade is called Dusty Rose. And it has like a little shimmer to it. And I like that because it reminds me of like the 90s makeup kind of look era because they definitely love the shimmer. Like the shimmer was like, it was a thing back in the day. I missed you all. I like, I just get so excited and pumped the film. But like, Today is an awful day. Like it is like cloudy, miserable. So we have the travel size pack. I started using this travel pack way back in high school, okay? I'm turning 30 in September and I've been using this stuff since I was like in grade nine, grade 10, because I started bleaching my hair hardcore in grade nine. And this is what saved my hair so many times. It's gold in a bottle, okay? But in a bag. <laughs> the two-step protein treatment in the, the top half here and you just like cut here do it on my head for you guys to show exactly how to do it because sometimes people get confused on the detail details you know what i mean so you get the protein on the top half cut this off like in the middle then you have the next half which is the balancing moisture which is basically like a conditioner so you're gonna put that sucker in your hair after you have washed out the protein treatment i'm gonna go through how to use Afigy two-step protein treatment and the balancing moisture on my hair okay step by step I am a very strong bleacher, okay? <laughs> and I tone my hair, I cut my hair, I put color in my hair, like crazy colors sometimes. So I'm always doing something to my hair and there's a lot of processing happening to my hair. It is super important to me to have a nice, strong hair care routine every single month that I do. And I have been doing the same routine for a long time with using protein treatment. You guys know, okay? I have been preaching about Afigy protein treatment since I started my YouTube channel. The main question that I always get is when do I use the two-step protein treatment? Okay, when do I do this haul? 
And I usually like to do it before I do a bleaching so that the protein can really get absorbed into the hair follicle and that when I do a bleaching a couple days after, I know my hair can take it because it has a bunch of protein. And that's basically why our hair breaks off because there's not enough protein attached to the hair follicle, so it breaks, okay? And other things like over-processing. When you have just the right amount of protein in your hair, my hair tends to hold beautifully with the bleach. I never usually have any accidents. I like to use this little package before I do a bleaching. That way the protein can absorb into my hair. And if I do get a bit lazy and I'm just rushing and I want to get my hair done, then I'll do it right after a bleaching and leave my hair to basically cool down for a couple days and then go in with a toner. If you use the protein treatment after you have toned your hair with like a Willa toner, it will take the color right out of your hair. Do not use a toner when you do this, okay? Do the toner after you have done a protein treatment. The best thing to do with your hair is to do it before a bleaching and even Afigy preaches about this is to do it before a bleaching so your hair can really just prepare for the process of bleach and how harsh it is. You have a 16 ounce bottle in the two step protein treatment and they sell all of these at Sally Beauty's and their website, Amazon, Hair Salon, and hair wig places, hair extension places, okay? They also have the Balancing Moisture, which is the same thing as this package, guys, okay? Don't get confused. These bottles are what this is, okay? The top is the protein and the bottom is the Balancing Moisture. So this is what this is. We have the option of the four ounce bottle in the two-step protein treatment. This is the big bottle, which is the 16 ounce, okay? So there's big differences and it's very affordable for everyone. I'm gonna go wet my hair, okay? First, let's take a toast. And now we have towel damp hair. That simple, that's it. My favorite leave-in conditioner spray is actually by Affigy. It's a Curlific line. It's a moisture-rich leave-in spray, very affordable. It's like seven dollars okay and as soon as you put it into your hair it leaves your hair silky smooth detangles your hair frizziness minimizes main thing for me is like as i have like really dry bleached hair it can be such a problem to like detangle my hair for instance i'm gonna apply it into my hair right now okay and it smells amazing it has like a mild it smells like a shampoo. It's very affordable. Like I said, it's on Amazon too. Their website, Sally Beauty, I don't think sells their curly pick line in Canada. You can buy it literally everywhere except Sally's in Canada. I don't know why. It's just so amazing. FG. One ounce is in this package, okay? And also one ounce is in the second package, okay? So it should be able to do my whole head. I have really grossed thick hair. I don't, I just, it's, I hate it. I hate having thick hair. It's just not cute for me. So I always tend to thin my hair with thinning shears like a couple times in like a year. So uh, if you do have a thicker hair issue like me, I would suggest buying two packs or just buy the bottle, which is four ounces. This will do you just fine. Towel damp hair, remember, it doesn't need to be soaking wet, just towel damp to the point where it's not dripping. Put this in a spray bottle and it's very liquidy, okay? Like, it's like water. It's very liquidy. If you put it on your hand, it'll start going through the cracks of your fingers. So I usually get a spray bottle and put it in the spray bottle, but my daughter is in charge of my makeup room, who's four years old, and goes through everything. So half the time, I don't even know where my makeup is. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on there. I was posting what I'm gonna be posting. I am talking to you guys on there, clapping back at the haters. I, oh God, it is, you have to pull me back, not to clap back at haters sometimes, but it's a given when you are on YouTube and doing social media. It's just like, you have to deal with everything. My gosh, you know what, I, I gotta, while I'm doing my hair, I wanna talk about a story, okay? Cause I was telling my husband about this and it's a really scary, like, never do this because you could be taken hostage. And it happened to me, okay? And I need to tell you guys because um, it's something that I don't think I've told you guys ever. And it's when I bought my dog, okay? I have a sheep -a doodle This is what she looks like. 
She's a sheepadoodle, which is um, half poodle, half sheepdog, but she's more on the sheepdog side. Anyways, so this woman I found on Kijiji, and she was selling a bunch of puppies. Now, I've had my fair share of um, dogs from the Humane Society, but we live really far from a Humane Society. This woman was selling sheepadoodles, and I've been wanting a sheepadoodle for such a long time, okay? And I found a person that just had puppies. This little town that I went, and what is it? It wasn't even like a little town, okay? It's like 40 minutes from my house, okay? Like too much to going in like this sketchy area where it's all farm area, okay? There's no one in sight, okay? No one in sight. And I'm taking my mom's like brand new um, SUV that she just got like a week before that. <laughs> and I'm driving down this dirt road for like good 15 minutes, okay? There's like nothing around me, like eerie. It's giving me eerie vibes. I never told my husband that I was getting a dog and it was just before Christmas, I believe. Like it was like November, I think. To this farm area. So I'm going down the road for like 15 minutes, right? And I'm already like, oh my God, like should I even do this? Should I? Like it's just not coming to my head really like what I'm really getting into, but it could have been a really bad scenario, okay? So all you see going down this dirt road, literally dirt road, okay? And there's nothing around you except corn field for miles and miles and miles, okay? Then I turn into this little house that is like this old, old farmhouse, okay? It doesn't look like it's maintained good. It looks like it's really rough, okay? Really rough. It looks like a serial killer is probably living in this house, okay? I'm just gonna say it. Really bad vibes when I was entering the house, like, driveway-ish, but it was part of the dirt road. And I was like, oh god, like, I don't know. <laughs> this might be bad. So I see, like, these two poodles coming up and running towards my car. But, like, everything was, like, there was, like, this big old shed there that had, like, this big chain going around the, the the like the pole the, the handles and so I was just like looking at that like dazing out like should I tell my mom oh, this is a good idea yeah what the heck so here is <laughs> here Becca goes jumps out of her car and then there's this big man this man had to be like 400 pounds 350 pounds okay had like this big long beard, like greasy hair slicked back, okay? Like cone, but like greased, okay? He, he didn't look like he was all with it and kind of not, I don't know, there was something, something eerie about this man, okay? And he's like, oh, are you here to pick up the dogs? And I was like, yeah, I was uh, correlating through text message. I, I, I'm not sure if it was a female or you or if it was someone else or, but I'm here to see your puppies that you have. Okay. And like looks at me like that, right? And then this way. So I'm following him. It took us like two minutes to like go around to where his front door was because his, his front door was facing the cornfields. So here I am going into around to where his door is and then I open it and he's like, oh, the puppies are around the corner inside the house. So I went in and, you know, I seen the puppies, I seen the puppies, okay? So I went in there and, you know, he was talking to me for a little bit and then his wife came out and, um, rough condition, her, the wife. I don't know, it was, the, the house, me walking inside the house, it looked like, a homeless person lived there or something. It was just very, it was very dirty. The walls were dirty. There was dishes to the ceiling. Who and Pete all over the floor. She said she just by accident, these dogs had a litter and she was just trying to get rid of them and make a couple bucks on them. But we did move like two years ago away from the city and we live in Timbuktu basically. So um, to get to a humane society is, really far from where I live. I ended up picking out of the dog that I wanted, but anyways, besides the point, um, I did find my love of my, my dreams of my dog, okay? 
my dog is like the best dog ever and she's so good with like kids like I don't know I think it's the poodle mix into her but the poodle is just such a great personality and great with kids like great family dog like that would be someone's serial killer dream someone could have literally taken me and my my husband and my mom would have never known where I was or anything and my children would have lost their mother so um please don't do that and that's just a wake-up call that you know sometimes we make stupid decisions and just don't be like me and we're gonna blow dry our hair to the point where it's like crispy like hay okay like to the point where there's no more wetness in our hair and it's dry so dry and the reason why we do that is because we want to open up the hair follicle so that the protein can get in there okay and then when we wash our hair it's gonna close okay it is my son's birthday next thursday on june 20th so um, we are going to the zoo for his birthday. I gotta bleach my hair. Like, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. I gotta bleach my hair, and I'm gonna dye my hair a color. I'm not sure what yet, but I'm still debating on it. But I'm so excited to bleach my hair because it's just getting to me now. Like, my hair is just, I look like ugh, someone dragged me out of some kind of cocoon of, like, deep in the forest. And I was like, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here still. My lashes were really annoying while I was blow drying my hair, so I just ripped them off. As you can see, my hair is very dry. It's very stiff. It almost feels like I have gel in my hair, but it's like hardened. So that's what you want. This isn't an everyday thing. This isn't an every week thing. This is strictly every six weeks to apply this as directions have stated. I, for myself, because I bleach my hair every single month, I do it once a month because I know my hair is gonna be taking a lot of processing. So I do this beforehand or either after bleaching. So make sure you have that in your back of your brain to not overuse protein because too much protein is a bad thing. Once my head is cooled down from being so hot from the hair dryer, I go into the shower or you can rinse it out with like the faucet. You're not gonna use any shampoo and a lot of people um, forget to mention this or always ask me this, do I use shampoo? And you don't use any shampoo after you have had this protein in your hair when you're rinsing it out. You just strictly go to the balancing moisture. And so when you go rinse this out at underneath the faucet, it's going to all come out. Then once it is all come out, you're going to apply the balancing moisture after you have rinsed the protein out. Okay, and then you're going to wash this out after. You're going to leave this on your hair, the balancing moisture, for two minutes and then rinse it out. So I'm gonna go ahead now and go rinse this protein treatment out of my hair, put on some makeup, dry my hair, and fix my nail that broke off. Yeah, that's what you get for cheap glue. Okay, besties, so we are back, and I washed out all the protein out of my hair, didn't use any shampoo, and then I put in the balancing moisture in my hair after. And then I leave it on for two minutes. After we use the protein, it can make your hair kind of feel a different kind of texture, like it's not soft. This will restore the softness after using the protein treatment on our hair. It'll detangle your hair. It just hydrates your hair and basically seals the protein after using the treatment on your hair. I recommend using the protein treatment and it's the reason why I still have hair. It hydrates the hair, it fixes the hair. Any future damage, it prevents and also it prepares, which we love because it's just like the two and two are like the best combo for someone that always bleaches their hair or dyes their hair or has is trying to recover their hair from an overprocess. There's just, this stuff is just great for all hair types. If you straighten your hair too much or curl your hair too much or you're in the sun too much and your hair just feels a bit dry and awful, 
All I did was just straighten my bangs. So if you're wondering, oh, you styled your hair. No, I didn't. I My hair is still wet at the bottom, but my hair is just so shiny everywhere else. Um, it's just, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Just wait a couple days and then bleach my hair. So my hair is just prepared and ready to race. Give this video a like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in my bleaching video. Stay tuned and see you in my next freaking video. Bye guys.